subscription customers who downloaded Stingray and the new extension 1 for 3DS Max 2016 will benefit from a new live link between 3DS Max and Stingray Engine. Stingray will help you produce visually stunning real-time 3D experiences of your design. Note that this model has been optimized for a more efficient data exchange with Stingray. To connect your model with Stingray, you first need to launch Stingray. To do so, use the game's launcher shortcut on your desktop. Say yes to disabling window area to help with the performance and responsiveness of Stingray. You need to create an empty project to host the live linked data. Go to the template tab and choose the empty template. This template is the most appropriate for this particular project. However, if you are dealing with a small object, you might want to explore the VR template. Click the Create button and name your new project accordingly. Make sure to save it in a location that makes sense on your computer. If you're not familiar with Stingray, it might be a good idea to look at the Get Started videos to help you with the basic understanding of Stingray. Now that you have an empty scene ready, let's go back to 3ds Max and link the data to Stingray. In 3ds Max, browse to the new Stingray menu and choose the option to connect 3ds Max to Stingray. Next, choose the option to send all data to Stingray. By doing so, you are creating a Stingray FBX out of your 3ds Max scene. Name the FBX. You can refer to the import process bar in Stingray to assess the time needed to import the data. Once the data is fully imported, go to the Stingray asset browser, go to the content folder and find the FBX you have just imported. You can preview the model in the asset preview window. Since we only have one model so far in our scene, we'll go ahead and start building our first level by dragging the FBX model into the Stingray level viewport. From here, you can explore with the real-time tools of Stingray and create an immersive and interactive presentation for your design. You can assess and review your scene in an interactive 3D environment, make changes to the 3ds Max model and update the data in Stingray. In the next video, we will look at how you can update the model and use camera tracking to help with the navigation and exploration of your design.